want to be a part of the activist side of it and help people realize that they're not alone. When I told my parents that I wanted to leave, my mother said that I was better off killing myself and committing suicide than waiting for God to destroy me at Armageddon. Someday when you die, this will all be better. You know, we could all say that at the end of the day, right? Because we're all going to die, but that's not a solution. At least in the Yoga Witness world, you have nothing to lose because if you die, who cares? You've been through paradise. Who cares if you die? Who cares if you have to kill yourself? They pressure you to make a huge lifetime commitment at a very young age when you don't really know that much about the world, really. You can't unbaptize, there's no such thing. Your fate is sealed once you're baptized. Lo que dice cuando te bautiza y te dedicaste a Dios, estás dedicándote a la sociedad, washed over, y track society, de Pennsylvania. If I go this route, I'm going to lose my family, I'm going to lose my friends. Do I ever get that back? A lot of humanity just wants everybody to agree with what they believe. And I'm, as a parent, you know, I'm really trying to avoid that. You know, I'm trying to not let the pendulum swing in the other direction and, and indoctrinate my kids with my atheism. The way that I see it is, <laughs> if anything, I stopped doing certain things that I did as a Jehovah Witness because I no longer believe in them that were negative and uh, like in this case, you know, hoping for people to die. The world is not as scary as they make it out to be, period. It's better to take your freedom than be trapped forever and not be who you want to be. Honestly, the best case scenario is to have my children grow up to be free thinkers. And being a free thinker does not be, mean being an atheist. It means deciding what works best in your life. I feel liberated. I feel free. I feel like I can be who I am without that guilt. I wish everyone could feel that way. Don't get wrapped up